now that you have your backstop installed, hang on to the little cardboard too, because you want to make sure that the direction of rotation is working properly, otherwise you're going to have to reverse the backstop. So we've installed the backstop and we found out that we need a different direction of rotation. That means we have to remove the backstop, turn it around, and reinstall it. Simple procedure, same steps. Remove the backstop cover, simple Phillips head screwdriver most of the time. Remove the backstop gasket material. Now here's the tricky part. This can be a two-person job because you're going to have to start sliding the backstop off while turning the shaft and you have to get that tube installed in the center of the backstop. Remember to take your key out. Now, we installed it improperly. We simply flip it over. We turn our shaft in the opposite direction now as we start to slide our backstop into the gearbox. We reinstall our key. We reinstall our gasket. We reinstall our backstop cover. And we don't tell anybody that we put it in wrong the first time. That's all the steps. Field reversible. Um, Hopefully you get it right the first time, but if you need to reverse it, you can do it on this gearbox. No external lubrication required for this backstop. It shares the oil of the gearbox. Make sure you get it tight. Make sure your gasket material is not cracked or broken. If you need to use a little RTV with it, go ahead and do that. Make sure it gets in. It's sealed and closed. And it turns in the proper, proper direction now.